Hello, everybody. How are we doing today? It's Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Yes, lots of fun stuff going on. And let's see. Oh, yeah, try, trying to get Pam on. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But anyway, it is Tuesday. What are, you, what are you working on today? And what do you think of my thread wall back there? Oh my gosh, look at all of this wonderful, awesome thread. Yes, we have got some really, really cool threads. Um, and I want to show you, let's see. Yeah, okay. I've um, got a couple things to share with you today. I'm going to show you how to make a quilt label your own personal quilt label. But before we do that, and while we're waiting on Pam to get herself all um, on, and I'm not seeing, let's see, um, I guess we are live. Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. I can see people. I can see people. I can't see your comments, but I can see that there's people out there watching. So, a um, couple things that I do want to share with you, um, because since we're doing our um, um, table runners a little bit differently this next year, um, subscribers, we have had to limit. So if you haven't subscribed yet, we still have some spots left, but um, it's going to fill up. I think we only have about four or five um, subscription spots left. Uh, then you will miss this month, and we'll see about adding more next month. But this is the um, the project. Let's see. We've got. Whoops. We've got. Okay, we've got Pam coming. All right, she's there. She's in the green room. So we'll get her in here in just a moment. But I want to go ahead. And, this is the table runner that um, I'm going to be cutting the kits for. This is for the new um, series, Emily has got table runners, different table runner every month. Got some other cool fun stuff to share with you, but let's see, since we've got Pam, let me see if I can get her in here. And, whoops, there she is. Got her on the wrong side, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead, we've got Pam up there and let her go ahead. She's got something to share with you today. Pam, All you're right. Happy, happy Tuesday, guys. I tried to get up on my big screen and it's not working, so had to revert to the iPad. Anyways, it is great to be back. Uh, on Let's see, today is the 22nd of February. It is actually Walk your, National Walk Your Dog Day. And when I saw, uh, <clears throat> I was looking and it said on average, uh, they you walk about 34 miles a week uh, just walking your dog so there you go you've got exercise as well all right I was going to put this on our ANA white um, uh, on, or on our page and then Sherry and I were talking this morning and she said oh let me see if I can try and get you on so I want to show you a, a, a tip some of you may have already seen it on Facebook I thought it was really cool, so I have started to use it. And when I start to show it, I'm thinking in my mind, I feel like I'm going to be doing an infomercial. But anyways, how many times have you had tape and you're digging and digging and digging and trying to find the end? Well, if you happen to have uh, bread and you, not the twisty end, but the little plastic pieces that you get uh, for your bread, take that... Let me see, I'm trying to get it, okay? Find the end of your tape and tape it. Okay, there you go. You do not have to worry anymore about trying to dig. Can you see that, Sherry? Yes, that works great on okay. your embe on your um, r and K Stitch Perfection tape, yes. Yes, and what I, st I first had it on, was this packing tape and I dig and I dig each time and I put it on there. So no more do I have to dig. I take plastic, uh, uh, the, tw the, the twist ties and I'm using this, okay? And now I feel that there's the part that I should say, but wait, there's more. There isn't. So, 
you all have a great rest of your Tuesday. Um, tomorrow is the uh, Sew It Yourself um, grocery bag thing. I think Sherry's got a fun thing for us tomorrow night. So I will see some of you tomorrow night. So you all have a great day. Pam out. All right. Thank you, Pam. That works pretty good. We just got to work on positioning a little bit, but we've got, uh, we're getting it. Let's see here. Getting it here. All right. All right. Wow. Great idea. Yes, it is. And now I've got, boy, I have cameras and phones and stuff everywhere. Uh, Pam, I know you're still out there. So um, Eileen Palanta says, thank you. Um, we definitely, we want to know what you're working on today. We always like to know and see what everybody's got going on. A uh, couple things that we have um, to tell you about. We had a great class the other day. You'll see, if you see the um, placemats, the fruit placemats. Yeah, everybody learned a lot about that edge to edge quilting and you can do that on your machine. Um, <clears throat> we have the edge to edge trio academy coming up. And I know some people have already started to sign up for it. If you haven't, you don't want to wait because it will fill up. Um, I'm, we're going to have fabric kits and everything. It's a two day, another two day. And the things that you're going to learn is pretty darn cool. Pretty cool. I'm working on the, um, the table runner and did the quilting last night and it's just really cool. Comes out looking perfectly professionally done. Takes a little bit of practice, but we're going to be making a little bag with uh, water. Uh, let's see, the Heat and Bond. I keep it next to me so I can share it with you. The Heat and Bond vinyl. We can put this on top of the fabric and makes it waterproof. So we're going to be using that um, Heat and Bond vinyl on the inside of the bag. You're going to be making a quilted fabric, they call it a strata, that you're going to turn into a backpack with an embroidery and all of this really cool stuff. Hello, Mary Hanchi, I see you. Uh, Debbie Diagle's finishing her placemats, yes. And this is the table runner. It is, um, yeah, it's, it's just really, really cool. Once we finish that one, it, this will come a little bit later in the year. Uh, we're going to be doing a fall volume two and there is a wall hanging a table topper and some boxes so that that one will be coming a little bit later um let me see what else what else i got lots of stuff laying around here but i want to make sure that you guys know what all's going on and then I'm going to get over here. I'm going to show you something really cool today. I was playing around with the machine and you can create your own quilt labels. Yeah, I know you can do it with letters and I've shown you how to do it, but I'm going to show you something a little bit different. This is our class for Friday. If you have signed up, I don't know if there's any spots left. Um, if so, you're going to have to come pick it up in order to get them. Uh, there might be a couple left, but this is our two-day Friday and Saturday. Everybody's so excited because you're going to be making all these different pieces and parts, and then we're going to be assembling um, the uh, quilting embroidery on top of the quilting, the piecing, quilting borders, quilting phalange. You are going to learn so much. Orange pop rulers, we're going to be using those in the class. Um, I stitched out the bonus designs because I know everybody always wants to see the bonus designs. So I stitched them out. I'm going to do something a little bit different um, with them is I stitched these out. This is actually in the five by seven. So you can stitch it out in the larger size. This is one of the designs. Let's see. Chaos. Yeah, that one's pretty darn cool. Um, gather. These are all the designs. It's on the bonus CD and they come in two sizes. Um, there's a couple of them that are applique. Yeah, there was some applique. Great way to use up your scraps and stuff or to do full th fun things. You can stitch them on all kinds of stuff. Everything from pillows to, um, I was thinking a pillow wrap, wall hangings, bags, everything. But all these really, really super cute um, sayings. 
that's your bonus. So we'll talk more about that when everybody's in the, in the class. Um, I do want to share with you, I have a couple of um, the R&K promotions. So I wanna share that with you as well. You see my thread back there on the wall, we got that up. I think I now have one of every color of R&K's threads, yes. And really, really like them. Um, love Filtech, love, you know, you can love more than one brand of thread, right? And especially when they have different types and different purposes. So I'm going to show you, let me just grab these off of here so I can share that with you. Okay. All right. So this is R&K's um, matte finish. And if you look at this and look really closely, where's the right camera here? It's a real flat finish. So it gives you, it, it's a 40 weight, but it's a flat finish. So it almost gives you a little bit thicker look be, be, um, um, when it finishes off. It's just a really, really cool finish. Then this one is a 60 weight. This is the Flawless Super Shiny Embroidery 60 weight. This is great for a lot of their designs. In fact, you know, um, a lot of the designs that um, R&K puts on the CDs that you purchase, they give you the designs in two different, um, uh, one that they suggest using the 60 weight, one they suggest using the 40 weight mat. Now, 40 weight is 40 weight. If you've got Filtech, that's, you know, that's the same thing. Um, it's the finish that makes the difference. This is a 60 weight. I'm telling you, if you do any type of stitching, including hmm, quilt labels or anything else like that, the small stuff, the little things on the Kimber Bell um, designs where they get down and they put all the words on the signs, on the bench pillows, right here their 60 weight thread. Then of course, you know, I did one of my stitched out in Glide. The Glide is the super shiny. We love it. We have no problems with it. Um, we just have different companies and different products and I love to play with the thread and collect them. They're like jelly beans or candy and a whole lot less fattening. Healthier for you too. Uh, but this is the 60 weight uh, Filtec thread. So we use, um, we use that. Then of course, um, there's a couple new packages and you'll see those over on the rack on that side. Those are 60 and 80 weight quilter select. They're quilting threads and all those different lovely colors. Well, we have five new neutral colors. Um, it's not in the regular line. Hmm, these are new colors. So let's I love thread and new colors. Did I say that already? Yeah. So this gives you, and these are on special this month, but this gives you the um, undertones, the neutral colors. You know, I do most of my piecing with gray thread because gray goes one way or the other. Uh, and then this is the, there's 400 meters on each, each one. This is the 80 weight. Who knew you could do all this piecing and all this stuff with 80 weight thread and it's just as strong? Well, you can. It does a great job. There is a difference over the course of a quilt if you're trying to get those perfect um, quarter inch seams. Yeah, love that excuse for buying new threads. Oh, that's right, I gotta try them. Hey, it was my birthday earlier in the month. That's my birthday present but you too can have those threads. So I'm going to show you real quick if I can get this up here and hit the right button. One, two, three, there we go. These are the special promotions for um, the threads that's on sale this month, okay? So everybody can see this. This is the, uh, let me get that over. This is the, what I have. Um, these are the R&K Embellish. This is, people ask about colors and they wanted the different colors. Well, you can have one of everything if you want to. Here it is. This is all of the matte colors. 
you get, and I don't know if that's every single one, but there's 240 threads in there. Um, you can have it all. So you've got the matte finish as well as the um, flawless, the flawless, the 60 weight. And it's all in um, 60 weight, 40 weight, and the racks. Each rack holds 60 spools of thread. So you have all of that thread. Yeah, you can have that too. Uh, we are taking orders for it. If anyone's interested, you can give us a call. And uh, we just got these in. This is the um, sticky printable templates. So you can print on those. This is great for using um, for all kinds of different things. For stenciling, the longer, the bigger size for stenciling. But this is the printable templates. Guess what? You can use those for lining up your designs for your edge-to-edge -edge quilting. Yeah, so you can, don't have to stitch it out on um, other paper that kind of falls apart. Okay, this is the, um, the table runner bundle. This is a great deal too, because it's not just to make one table runner. No, you have $160 worth of stuff for $99.99. Um, I'll show you the other side. There's some other designs on the, um, oh yeah, okay. I can tell you, I'm just reading the back of this. Um, it comes with the CD with designs, multiple designs on there, plus all of the different products. Again, it's more than enough to make one um, table runner. We are going to make that table runner um, in class as soon as I get my sample done. Yeah because I want to do that. So the 60 and 80 weight thread, this is their special promotions. So here's, this is what I was just showing you. These are the special prices on um, the undertones in either 60 or 80 weight. We have those available. And here's the complete collection and the special price on the thread. So if you get the pair of cotton poly, um, 80 weight, you get the rack and the thread. The um, Cotton Plus, this is the 60 weight, 400 um, meters on each one, which goes a long way. This is the special price on that. And this is for your quilting, your piecing, you know, your sewing, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And it does hold things together very well. I've been playing with it and using it, and I've been very, very pleased with it it comes with the the rack so that's the special promotions that um, that we've got going on um, right now this is a ruler promotion uh, different sizes if you need some rulers and you want to do some um, ruler work these are on sale um, as well okay so let me come back around here yay all right i did that okay all right so this is the cd that comes in the package the Quilted Spring Table Runner. I am going to do that one because I love the bike and the spring and the other things in it. And, you know, even if I don't get it done fast enough, I can switch something out because look at all these designs. All of those come on. There's um, a Table Runner project on here plus eight in the hoop quilted applique embroidery designs. Uses an eight by eight hoop. So you can tell it's a nice size. Comes in all of the different um, formats. But the other thing that's really cool is each design has been digitized twice. So once for 60 weight, uh, which is your flawless, and one for 40, which is your standard embroidery, whether it's matte finish or Filtech or whatever brand, it's been, um, they digitized it twice. So you don't have to you know, worry about, well, which thread can I use? One's thinner than the other. Is it going to make a difference? Do I need to resize it? No, they've already done it. They have the cutest designs and the cutest CDs. We do have some more um, Amelia Scott um, table toppers, and they've got a brand new one that's um, a table topper that's going to be coming in. I just saw the notice that it's going to be shipped to us. And let's see, like Pam said, we do have the um, fold and store class that we're finishing up. Now, if you already took the first part, you're more than welcome to come take the second half because I'm going to show you how to use your scraps and make another little tote bag. 
Um, it will be recorded. Next week, we have the um, Soak Your Troubles Away with Janine Babbage. And oh, yes, yes, this one right here. We sold out. We sold out. So if you want that, you're going to have to wait and see if I can get more. Um, but we sold out. That's going to be on Tuesday. Then we have our um, Vintage Jewel next Thursday. Block of the month free. And don't forget our Jelly Roll Quilt. Yeah, Wistful. That's coming up on the 8th. Uh, when you sign up, you get the pattern. It's up to you. The class is only $35. Um, you can supply your own jelly rolls. That's perfectly fine. But if you need supplies and you want to purchase jelly rolls and background fabric and that kind of stuff, uh, just uh, call us and we are going to give you a discount coupon. Um, our dealer digital exclusives come up the 10th. Um, the Easter Table Runner, uh, the Edge to Edge Academy, that's where we we're going to make the three projects, and uh, the Deep Sea Pillow, I'm working on that sample, everybody's looking at the fabric setting there, and they want to buy my fabric, and I have told Mike and Rita, they are not allowed to sell any of it until I've cut the kits, so... I don't want to run out because somebody wants a, you know, half a yard or a quarter of a yard. I am hoarding it. So right there where everybody gets to see it to try to get them to sign up um, for the class. Um, let me see here. Kimberbell's Kitchen. That's a really cool one if you've not taken it before. Uh, the picture's on our website. You can get signed up for that. And then we have the Charm Pack Lullaby Quilt at the end of March. Yes, I'm talking about March because after this week, that's where we're at. Monday's the end of the month. Remember, this is our short month. Um, but we're going to take it out with a good class on Monday, 2 o'clock um, Eastern Time. Embellish Stabilizers, uh, Breaking Down Stabilizers with Paula Brownwell. If you missed the first one, it's okay. Just sign on, sign up for the second one. Uh, she does an, a, an amazing, amazing job. So, what I told you, what I'm going to show you, is I'm going to show you how to... Let me see, where's my... Oh, to go from this, name on a piece of paper... To this yeah pretty cool stitched this is all stitched out or even better yet let me grab this one make your own quilt label okay take it from this to this you can do that this one is stitched out. The outside border is stitched with matte finish. The inside, all of that stitching is stitched with flawless. Okay? And if you can see a little bit of difference between, let me get the other one, these two. Okay? This one, the black one on top, it's just the name, uh, was stitched with Glide Black Thread. The bottom one, because there's more to it, and I wanted to shrink it down, I used the Flawless. So I took, and I'm going to show you how to do it in a moment, but I took this. Whoops, showing you the wrong one here. There you go. Okay, and you can see the, the difference in, in size. I shrunk it down, but I used the, um, the, um, the thread. You can see some left, some spaces. That's okay. It was meant to be that way because this is what I did. You could do this also with kids' handprints or just lots of other stuff. Um, but I would highly recommend if you're going to do, to make one, and you've got the scanning mat or the newer some of the machines that um, you take the picture of and use your camera you can do it with that as well but you want to make sure that you start out with a good um, signature or good drawing um, I used permanent uh, 
black marker. Make sure you put something under it so it doesn't link through and you don't want it to leak onto your um, the paper on the mat. Don't write with it on this mat or you could end up ruining it. So you don't want to do that. But this is what I did is I took the marker and you want to exaggerate things a little bit. So I wrote out my handwriting. I used to always sign things with a little heart and a smile in it. Still do. And for the dots to make sure that they came out, I made them circles. Okay. So I'm going to switch over. Let's see if I can get back here and switch over to the camera here or the screen. All right. So what I did was, of course, I put my mat on. And we're going to, I'm going to go through the whole process with you. Okay. All right, so we're going to start here on our, our screen. If you have a different machine, it might be different, but this is, I'm going to show how, show you how to do it using the new, the Solaris 2. I want, this is IQ. If you've got a, a brother, you would be using the My Design Center, and it would work similarly. And bring up this screen. I want to scan. So I've written it down. I've got nothing here. So I need to go up to the little leaf. And I want to scan a line design. It's easy enough. Scan a line design. Got the paper on the mat with the green around it. You saw that. And we're going to scan. This is going to import an image file. So we're going to scan it. You can hear the machine going. So it takes a minute for it to recognize and scan. And it's going to come up here on my screen. Assumes like we need some of that uh, Jeopardy music. Do, 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 do. So it just takes a minute um, for it to scan. Some of your machines may take a little bit longer depending on the machine. Okay. And it scans the whole entire thing. Okay, so once it's scanned, now you can see it up here on my screen. You see all those green magnets? Well, obviously, we don't need all of that information. So you've got, you want to frame your image. You've got those little red um, arrows. So we're just going to pull this in. And however it works best for you, I don't need the, want the you want to bring it in as close as you can and to get rid of as much of the rest of the stuff because we don't need it. We don't need the white background. That's all we want is the words. Okay? You've got a grayscale detection level depending on how dark you've got your um, your lettering. This is similar to your copy machine when you go to make a copy and you have to make it darker. So you might want to move it over. It'll detect it a little bit better. Now the other thing that's important is right here at the bottom you've got a dash and you've got that satin stitch. That's not the stitch we want. If we take it and use that, it is going to make every one of those letters a satin stitch. And that's going to make it really, you know, really dense. That's not what we want. So we're going to touch on that. And that of course brings us up and you can change colors if you want to. But more importantly, these are the different type of um, um, stitch out. We want just the double stitch. That's all we want to do. We just want a double stitch. We don't want it too heavy. If you want it heavier, you could go with a triple stitch. You could go with, you know, depending on what you're doing, you could pick a bean stitch or this, the, um, yeah, the bean stitch, or you could pick one of the other, the little stars. All right. So we've got that. Next, we're just going to touch OK. And there it is. You can't really tell that it's stitched out or anything's going on with it, but it is. We're going to touch set. And then you can see it's got a little box around it. It's there. This is where you can change the size if you want to. I actually took it into the other side of the machine. Um, so you could change the size. We're not going to change it here. We're going to go ahead. We're not going to rotate it. We're just going to do next. 
You can change your stitch length if you want your stitches to stitch tinier or you want it to stitch a little bit larger. We're going to set it. It's going to convert it and take it to embroidery. It is now an embroidery design, just that quick. So it's in the embroidery. We're going to touch edit. And at this point, I want to change the size. And the reason I'm changing it here is I want to show you, you know, your machines will change a certain percentage, smaller or larger. I just want to give you this reminder. You see this little zigzag right here? That little zigzag recalibrates or re um, counts the stitches. So if we touch that, and it's always going to come back and um, take it back to the original size. In case you've made any changes, it goes back to original. We haven't made any, so it's not going to do anything. So we're just going to say okay. And then we want, um, we're going to take it down smaller. It still will have a limit, but this is the size, so it's going to be four and a little bit bigger, four and a quarter large, and just under two inches um, wide. So that's okay. We've got it in the center. We're going to say okay. Now we still need a border. Okay, so we need it. We need a. We don't need it, but we want a border. So we're going to add. And we're going to go into our borders. Everybody's got those. So we're going to pick one. And we're going to pick number 10 because it's already a square or a rectangle in the right direction. I don't have to rotate it or flip it or do anything. And then I'm just going to pick one of the you can pick designs, whichever one you want. I'm going to set it. And if you want to see what it's going to look like, you just touch your little... Um, magnifying glass and it's going to show it to you. Obviously we know we have to change and make it bigger. So we're going to edit it. We're going to go to the size and we're just going to edit it. Okay, we're going to look at it and decide how big we want to make it. It's going to fit in our 5 by 7 hoop which is awesome, amazing. And we can go ahead and say okay. And at this point, we can change the colors because we want to change the background. Let's see, no, I'm going to go down to the background and I'm going to change it to green. And then the words, I'm going to go up here and I got to remember with the Solaris, you got to touch the spool of red. I'm going to change that to blue. I think I touched the wrong one, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so now. One of the other cool things that we can do if you've got the Solaris is when this goes to embroider, it would embroider the words first and then the frame because we put the frame on second. So it doesn't matter if you have a Solaris, you can do it either way. We can take this little box down here that's got the three little boxes. And if I touch it, now it will give me the choice. I can take this one. If I touch on that, I can take my border and move it up to the first position. That's a good idea because it will stitch like a base. It's not a basting stitch. It'll stitch the outside and then stitch my words inside. By doing it that way, it's gonna you're going to have less puckering and less, um, less problems with it. So now... The other thing you might want to do is you might, you know, if you want to change, if you decide you're going to move that to a different position, you want to touch these little, um, the square, circle, and triangle down here, and you want to set those two designs so now they become one. So if you have to move them, they will move together. If that's not highlighted, if it's like this, they will move independently. Okay, so if we highlight them, you can always touch the circle in the middle just to make sure that they're in the middle. And then we are ready to embroider. It's going to embroider my outline, then it's going to embroider the inside, and when it's finished, it is going to look like this. There you go. When you stitch it out, that's what it's going to look like. And you've got your quilt label. So there you have it. Does anybody have any comments or questions? You see.
Nope, I don't see any. So I'm going to send you off to make it a great afternoon. Go sew something and I will be back tomorrow. We'll see you at one o'clock. Anything else? Nope. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. That's pretty easy to do, too. The other really cool thing is you can take, and this is a challenge, try it. Or take the, you can take the kids' handprints. You can take signatures. You just need to make sure you've got a really good, uh, you know, you've got it written down really good so that you can see it. I know um, uh, one of our customers took all of her granddaughter's signatures for the Girl Scouts and made she had made a quilt and she digitized all of their signatures. So that's a really, really cool thing to do as well. So go play. Try it. Replay this video and then post us a picture on our friends page. So until tomorrow, Go sew something.